Right, so this is a centrifuge, benchtop centrifuge, three liters. It does about 4,000 times the force of gravity. And we're going to do a video to show what's going on in these buckets when it's spinning. Okay, now I'm using a handheld strobe light. And I have to adjust the speed to try and freeze the buckets while they're moving, uh, which is hard. You can see I'm not able to really get it to spin, uh, not able to get it to freeze really quick enough. But uh, you'll also notice that now that I've gotten it to freeze, that the liquid has already spun way down. We've already missed the entire section where we really needed to see it. But if you look closely in here, I'm able to get a, a decent shot. You can see the liquid line, and you can see the clear line and the puck. So I'm going to have to new, use a new technique where I can actually freeze it from the get-go. So here, I'm freezing it from the get-go using a, a little trigger that's triggering it every time the rotor's in a specific position. So it's starting up now, and you can see it clears out very fast. As soon as the, uh, as soon as the G-forces get up about, uh, above about 500, 600 Gs, uh, which you can see in the lower left there, you can really see the liquid start to clarify uh, right away. Now once it gets up, I'm going to speed it up so that you're not going to have to watch the whole thing. Now this one I'm doing at only 1500 Gs. And you notice that at 1500 Gs, it's still a little bit cloudy, right? It's still a little bit cloudy. There's a puck form, but it's not totally, totally clarified. And I'm also going to do it for a short amount of time. So I'm going to let it slow down now. And as it slows down, um, what we're going to find out is that at this speed uh, and this amount of time, I haven't formed a really solid puck. This is banana sustino, by the way. So this is gin and bananas with a little bit of SPL and enzyme in it. And the, the enzyme helps it to, to clarify out. But as it slows down, it's going to shake a little bit. You can see it shaking here a little bit. You can hear it shaking a little bit. And as it shakes, you'll see a little bit, it's kicking up a little bit of junk off of the bottom of the, off the puck, right? And you can see it there, it's a little bit cloudy now, and that's not the initial cloudiness that was there, that's actually stuff that's lifted off of the bottom because I didn't spin it hard enough and I didn't spin it long enough. So this speed and this amount of time doesn't clarify it and it doesn't make a firm puck. You can see here in the close-up after it's done, it's also swirling because the motion of the centrifuge causes it to swirl. But you can see little bits that were kicked up and a little bit of cloudiness in general. Speaking of swirling, there's a lot of wind going on inside the centrifuge. So here's another shot of some liquid that I accidentally spilled and you can see it just whipping around the inside. A lot of wind inside the centrifuge. All right, so now we're gonna run the test again, uh, also with Banana Sustino, same as before, but this time I'm gonna spin it longer and I'm also gonna take it all the way up to 4,000 Gs. So you can see it's clarifying al already. Um, clarifies very, very quickly. It's a little harder to see in this one because it's spinning quicker and so there's, uh, you know, it's much harder to, to get a good shot of it. I'm going to speed it up now to 15 times normal speed, right? And you can see as it's going through this, it's just getting clearer and clearer. During this section, it's really clearing out. You can see that there's hardly any haze left, and we have a pretty much a bright uh, black. And you can see the black, the line where the liquid is versus where the puck is. And you can see that it's just becoming more and more distinct, more and more clear, all right? Now I'm going to let it slow down again. And as it slows down, you're also, and you can see even better now that it's not sped up, how clearly defined the puck is and how clearly defined uh, you know, the, the liquid is. Very, very clarified. Uh, and this one is not going to kick up any stuff when it's done. And when you pour it out, it's going to be dead clear. Because I'm a little bit of a jerk, I'm pouring quickly. So you're going to see a little bit of air in here. But rest assured, that's only air. This stuff is dead, dead clear. Thank you.